Namaste. Today, I'm going to tell you the story of Svetakitu and his father Adalaka, which is one of the most famous and influential stories from the Shandogya Upanishad. This story is about the nature of the self, Atman, and its identity with the supreme reality, Brahman. Svetakitu was a young boy who studied the Vedas for twelve years under a teacher. He returned home proud of his learning and arrogant of his knowledge. His father Adalaka, who was a sage and a scholar, asked him if he had learned the essence of the Vedas, which is the knowledge of the self. Svetakita replied that he had not, and asked his father to teach him. Adalaka agreed, and began his instruction with a series of analogies and questions. He first asked Svetakitu to bring a fruit from a banyan tree and break it open. He then asked him to take out a seed and break it open. He asked him what he saw inside the seed. Svetakitu said he saw nothing. Adalaka then said that from that invisible essence, the whole banyan tree emerged. He then said that in the same way, the whole universe emerged from an invisible essence, which is the self. He said that the self is the subtlest of all, and that it is the source of everything. He said that the self is Brahman, and that Svetakitu is that. He then asked Svetakitu to dissolve some salt in water and bring it to him. He then asked him to taste the water from different parts of the vessel. He asked him if the salt was present in the water. Svetakita said that it was. Adalaka then said that in the same way, the self is present in everything, but it cannot be seen or grasped. He said that the self is the essence of everything, and that it is Brahman. He again said that Svetakitu is that. He then asked Svetakitu to go to sleep and wake up. He then asked him if he was aware of anything while he was asleep. Svetakita said that he was not. Adalaka then said that in the same way, the self is beyond the states of waking, dreaming and deep sleep. He said that the self is the witness of everything, and that it is Brahman. He once more said that Svetakitu is the. He then asked Svetakitu to strike a bell and listen to the sound. He then asked him to follow the sound as it faded away. He asked him where the sound went. Svetakita said that he did not know. Adalaka then said that in the same way, the self is beyond the senses and the mind. He said that the self is the silence behind the sound, and that it is Brahman. He finally said that Svetakitu is that. After hearing these teachings, Svetakitu understood the truth of his self and its identity with Brahman. He became humble and grateful to his father, and attained the highest bliss. This story is one of the most popular and influential stories from the Shandogya Upanishad, as it conveys the core message of Vedanta, which is the non-dualistic philosophy of Hinduism. It also illustrates the use of analogy, dialogue and repetition as pedagogical tools in the Upanishads. I hope you enjoyed this story and learned something from it. If you did, please like, share and subscribe to my channel for more stories and insights from the Upanishads. Thank you for watching, and see you next time. Namaste.